17 seconds. Eight, seven, six, second umbilical backs away. Main engine start has been initiated. Main engine start and liftoff. Liftoff of the 47th Progress Resupply Vehicle to the International Space Station. Good first stage performance being reported. Good roll and pitch program. All thrusters are reported to be functioning nominally. 42 seconds into the flight, the Soyuz is delivering 100 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Parking uh, to the northeast of its launch pad toward an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Coming up on the one minute mark into the flight, the velocity already 1,100 miles per hour. All systems reported uh, to be functioning normally. Roll, pitch, and yaw reported to be normal. The Soyuz booster now going through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. You can see the contrails, the vortices off of the rocket. 80 seconds into the flight, everything is nominal. We're about uh, 30 seconds away from the shutdown of the first stage and the jettison of the four strap-on boosters. Everything reported uh, nominal from the blockhouse of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Coming up on the three minute mark into the flight. The, the uh, launch shroud has now been jettisoned. The uh, Soyuz booster traveling at a speed of almost 5,000 miles an hour. We have passed uh, the three minute mark into the flight. The second stage or core stage is performing as expected. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Everything proceeding uh, in good fashion as uh, the Soyuz booster rocket uh, is delivering uh, the Progress 47 resupply ship toward its preliminary orbit and the start of a two-day chase to reach the International Space Station. At the time of launch, the station was traveling 245 miles over the Atlantic Ocean, just off the west coast of Africa. A view of the now empty launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. It won't be empty for long, however, as another Soyuz booster will roll out in just a few weeks for the next uh, crew launch to the International Space Station, the remainder of the Expedition 31 crew, Gennady Padalka, Joe Acaba, Sergey Revin, on the Soyuz TMA-04M. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. We're coming up shortly on second stage shutdown and jettison, everything performing normally.
All flight parameters continue uh, to come in uh, in nominal fashion, according to the reports from the blockhouse. We have now had second stage shutdown and separation. The next uh, four minutes of flight uh, will be exclusively on the Soyuz third stage. Once again, uh, the launch of the uh, ISS Progress 47 cargo craft occurred on time at 7.50 and 24 seconds a.m. Central Time into uh, virtually cloudless skies at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You're watching a replay now of the final seconds before main engine ignition and liftoff, this video courtesy of the Russian Federal Space Agency. We've just passed the uh, six minute mark into the flight, about three minutes of powered flight remaining. And there, just moments ago, uh, this replay showing uh, the main engine ignition and liftoff of the uh, Soyuz booster and the Progress 47 cargo craft. Six uh, and a half minutes into the flight, everything reported normally. Good engine performance, good orientation by the third stage as it uh, continues its uh, flight uphill to deliver the progress into its preliminary orbit. Very few perturbations uh, reported uh, to the third stage of the Soyuz booster. Good roll, good pitch, good yaw reported uh, in telemetry being received at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, outside Moscow, which will take over uh, control of the uh, progress and its trek to the International Space Station following orbital insertion. The uh, Progress and uh, its Soyuz booster third stage now traveling almost 14,000 miles an hour, coming up on the eight minute mark. Coming up on the eight and a half minute mark into the flight. Roll, pitch, and yaw of the third stage still normal. Everything is on track. The uh, Soyuz booster traveling right down the marks toward its preliminary orbit to deliver the Progress resupply vehicle. And we've had third stage shutdown. Spacecraft separation confirmed. And we've had confirmation of the deployment of the solar rays and the navigational antennas on the ISS Progress 47 vehicle, a flawless launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Progress now in its preliminary orbit, headed for the International Space Station.